June 1st is a big day for us LEGO fans. There is a ton of sets that are about to hit the shelf. Today, on social media, I saw some people posting some pictures of some sets that had been put out a little early. I went down to my local shop to see if they had them. Sadly, they didn't. So I went further afield. They did. Today, we're going to take a look at Harry Potter and Hermione Granger. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Dan and if you like this video and want to see more like it, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to catch me live, I stream on Twitch, so head over to twitch.tv forward slash between the bricks. Okay, as I said in the intro, I did go down to my local store to see if they had these sets on the shelves today. I'd seen some pictures on socials. They didn't have them, so they checked further afield for me, so I ended up going down to a place called Petoni. And they did indeed have Harry and Hermione out on the shelf as well as Forks, which that review will be coming soon. So needless to say, I was a very happy camper and off I toddled home to build the sets and review for you guys. I do have an unboxing and speed build for Harry and Hermione. Click the link above if you want to check that out. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump on in and check out the builds. I think one of the burning questions will be how big are these compared to a minifigure? Well here you can see the difference. The Harry and Hermione figures are 26 and a half centimeters tall and approximately 17 centimeters at the widest. You can see they are rather large by comparison to a standard minifigure. You can see here the chest panel is a 1 by 5 by 6 and that is printed. You get the same print for both Harry and Hermione and you can pretty much count up the height of the legs, the torso and the head if you want to get it in a brick measurement. When you build these figures you start with the torso first. There is a really cool structure here on the inside which is angled to be able to create this angle down the torso and allow for the arms to attach. After you've done that part you come down through the hips and then you build each leg and then we come up and finish the model with the head and voila. The legs do articulate very similarly to a regular minifigure legs. The mechanism inside here is absolutely brilliant and it provides just the right amount of resistance. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's definitely not floppy and I think uh, that was a genius move. The other genius move has to be the mechanism inside for the arms. Again, it provides just enough resistance to be able to rotate the arms, and yet they're not floppy. They will hold themselves in any position, even if the model is standing. It's still going to hold the arms where you put it. And that was cleverly achieved just with the use of friction through gears against each other. Uh, and I really think that it has to be seen and built and appreciated and uh, I can't do that justice here. Lastly, after we've done the body, legs, arms, uh, the wand, we come to the head. Now the head, I'm just going to take it off poor old Harry here for a second just so I can hold it up. The head is absolutely uh, amazing. There is a lot of stuff going on in here. There is a ton of parts that go into creating the head on both the models. Uh, the structure inside is it's a jigsaw and to be honest you really don't know what you're doing while you're doing it. It just comes together in the end. Harry's head was by far more intricate than Hermione's. Uh, the hair is extremely intricate and you really need to pay attention when you're building the hair. Uh, because it's not just laying panels down over the uh, internal structure. You basically build little pieces of the hair and then you put some bows in and you build some more small pieces and they all kind of interlock and interlace together to create the final model. There is a lot of new colored parts in this uh, light nougat. It's not a super common color, so it's nice to get some new pieces in light nougat. As far as I'm aware, this face piece is a new part, and it is the equivalent of a 1 by 3 by 1 to 1 third bow. I think that's the name of that particular part. Um, but it's equivalent of two of those back to back, which is really cool. Uh, the cape here for Harry is removable, so it's simply you can just take an arm off and then the cape will come off with it. 
So you get this very useful cloth piece, which I'm sure would have a multitude of uses elsewhere. And to demonstrate how the legs work, we'll just take one of these off. And you'll see here on the inside of the leg, there's another structure that goes down inside the brick built part of the leg, which essentially will receive both of these uh, Technic beams. And it's duplicated on each side, or it's mirrored on each side. So that will come into here, push that on, and you have the leg. Another nice touch is inside the wands. You'll notice when you're building it that there are a couple of bars. And inside Hermione, she has a nice uh, trans purple bar. And I'm pretty sure that these are meant to represent uh, the power of which drives the wand. So I think that was a really nice touch uh, on part of the designer. So taking a look at the Hermione model now, you can see that uh, there is some similarities in the sense the torso is exactly the same and the legs are built exactly the same. Uh, but we have a little bit of differing color here in the bottom of the legs with some dark blue gray. And uh, Hermione has uh, dark blue gray sleeves as opposed to Harry's black sleeves. Other than that, all of the building is identical. Uh, the wand here for Hermione is a completely different color and slightly different um, molding at the bottom here. And absolutely brilliant new colored piece here for the pumpkin in dark tan. And as I mentioned before, inside Hermione's wand is this uh, nice trans purple bar. Now one of the main differences between Hermione and Harry is that Hermione's head will not rotate on the body because it's held in place by her hair and uh, her hair looks absolutely stunning as well. Now even though there is more to it I did feel like Hermione's hair was slightly easier to build than Harry's simply because uh, this one really was more of actually a panel which was attached to the back, another panel that was attached to each side, and then uh, some smaller panels for the front and for the locks here. And uh, it was, it just seemed to come together a little bit easier. Hermione does have the same face panel, but it is a different print, obviously. And again, we get all of these nice new light nougat colored pieces. If we separate Hermione's hips and torso, you'll be able to see here how this is uh, achieved. There's this structure that is holding all of this together. And uh, as I showed you on the Harry, the uh, resistance for the leg movement is all inside the hips piece here, which is uh, absolutely clever. It took me a little over three hours to build the models and I really enjoyed them. There was a lot of cool techniques going on inside there to get the angles for the torsos, to get that movement in the hips. And as I said during the review, the, the heads themselves and the intricacies around the creating of the hair and the depth, the texture and, and all of those things. So I really did enjoy it. I do wonder why it wasn't tagged as an 18 plus set. I do feel like they are very displayable. They are definitely technical enough for adults to enjoy the build. And I feel like that they really could have been in that 18 plus bracket. However, that being said, Lego is for everybody, for any age, for anyone. Those are my thoughts on this set. Do let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Is this something that you'd be interested in? Would you like to see maxi figures done with other figures? Who would you like to see? Which one would be your favorite? Again, drop that info in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see. Thank you so much for watching. Please be safe, keep building, and I'll catch you on the next one. So we'll take a look at the Harry Potter model first. As you can see, it will... Whoops. Exactly how...